Lust in men and in women Though a lady appears to be gentle and soft, yet she becomes rude, rough and distinctly masculine when she becomes angry. The feminine grace vanishes when she comes under the influence of wrath, indignation, fury and resentment. Have you ever seen women fighting in the streets? Women are more jealous than men. They have more moha and passion also. They are 8 times more passionate than men. Women have more power of endurance. They are more emotional. Males are more rational. Though females are more passionate, yet they have more power of restraint than males. After enticing men, they keep quiet. The real culprit is man only. He is aggressive. It is he who tastes the forbidden fruit first. He is active. He goes out of control and loses his intellect, power of understanding and judgment when he is under the grip of passion and becomes the sporting lapdog of a woman. When once man falls into the trap or net spread out by women, there is no escape for him. Woman is passive. She only tempts and deludes man. She inflames and excites the heart of a man. She smiles and glances and then keeps quiet. She waits. But man is the aggressor. He is the real culprit. Man is the worst culprit. He is the real seducer. He is the aggressor. He is the violator. All women would have become miras, madlasas and sulabhas. had it not been for this vilest nature of man he must be corrected and molded first he has not got so much self restraint as women have women are 8 times more passionate than men but possess 8 times more strength of control over the sexual impulses or the sexual urge this is the weakness of man though he may be physically and intellectually more powerful than a woman women flatter coax and cajole you they are experts in the art of blandishment they have made you a slave by their winning expressions actions youthful charm coquettish glances gestures and smile a considerable portion of your life has been wasted pursuing the phantoms of flesh Women appear charming only for a short time but turn destructive of health and happiness soon after. Beware of these temptresses who entangle you by their blandishments. Pass your remaining days at least on the holy banks of the Ganga in silent japa and meditation. The scorpion has the venom in its tail, the cobra in its fangs, the mosquito in its saliva. and the scandal monger in his tongue woman has poisoned arrows in her eyes she sends the message of passion to the lustful youth and pierces their heart through the poisoned arrows that dart from her piercing glances but she cannot do any harm to a viveki who is always on the alert and who sees the doshas of a woman and who knows the sat chit ananda pure nature of atman there are tongues and telegraphic instruments in the eyes of young passionate ladies they send their love shafts and love messages through their smiling glances to passionate young men and thereby allure and bewitch them those young men who have no discrimination are excited by these love messages and become a prey to lust they become pleasure deer or sporting lap dogs of ladies though they possess academic education and hold high position and title what a shame reason will intellect vanish altogether o oh, aspirants do not be very familiar with any woman you should not sacrifice a noble ideal of life for the sake of pleasing a bewitching woman think of the composition of the body keep the mental image of the dead body of a woman or a skeleton whenever passion troubles you
you will slowly gain strength to subdue the passion vairagya will slowly dawn the cause for attraction towards women is the presence of vasanas or subtle desires in the mind wipe them out there will be no attraction those who have renounced women and money have really renounced the world